What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Music Production 101 with Professor Tone. Today, we are going to learn a couple things. How to chop up some drum samples into, um, into different pads to learn how to manipulate the rhythm the way you want it to be from an existing drum loop rather than individual sounds. And then we are going to um, take a sample that has been chopped, which was in the last lesson, and place it over the drums and make it work together. So I have already opened up a beat that I have pre-chopped. And um, I have my sample on group A and my drums on group D. So I have this drum loop to start with. So you can see the waveform here. And it's basically the same loop going over and over again. But what you can notice is, if you zoom in, you can see the dynamics of the wave. So here's one loud hit, and here's the next loud hit. So this is the kick, and this is the snare. Kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something called uh, a four step or what I call four stepping the drums. So basically I'm just going to cut it and place it on the pads as kick, snare, kick, snare. And you can see where the dynamics of the waveform are here. So I'm going to just cut it like that because it's basically a um, two bar loop. So it goes one, two, three, four. So I get those tuned in right, right to the top. But then I have control over the timing. Now if I want to, I can change the pitch of that group to make it higher or lower. But I think I want to keep it right there. So now, now when I go to record it, I'll go to a pattern and what I'm going to do is So first thing is I gotta set my tempo so it loops right. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So The way I do that is I personally like to make a custom metronome of just a hi-hat rather than having the 
annoying bleep sound because it's sort of loud. So I'll just draw this in as a quarter notes. Two, three, four. So now So this tempo I'm going to test out So that could be two things. That right now I have it as 145 beats per minute. 145 is the same as um, 72.5. You know, it's just counting it either single time or double time. So I have it up to 145 BPMs. It's the same thing as 72 and a half if you want to be basic with it. But there's just more spots to draw in notes. And it makes it a little bit more exact when you have more beats per minute to draw notes into. So let me go ahead and lay that in there. Is how you four step the drums kick snare kick snare and then you can manipulate the rhythm so from there now that I have my uh, my drum beat down what I can do is I can play with the sample on top of it which is the fun part so let's get into this oh before I do that let me tell you what I did with this sample so this is a sample from uh, I pulled it from YouTube it's from Hey Arnold the old Nickelodeon cartoon and there was just a cool little um, I was hanging out with my friend and he showed me this funny clip about how they were breaking down a Hey Arnold episode and there was a little clip at the end of the episode where they had some cool instruments and so I sampled it from YouTube and I chopped it up and it this is what it is <laughs> That's Helga Pataki right there. <laughs> so I chopped it up as. That little synth area, and then that bass. You can see the, the wave dynamics here. Huh. And the synth part and then the space. Okay, so now I'm gonna do I'm gonna spin these drums. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> 